the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And here we have Argentina against Uruguay. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. A moment for pride and reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. anthem of Argentina rings out. Look at the lineups. There's the whistle, and here we go. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Well, I would think Diego Godin is key defensively. Uh, his brilliant reading of, of danger is, is his real strength, and his timing of the tackle isn't far behind. And another centre back who'll, who'll pop up on a set piece and grab a goal for you. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Garay. Messi. And it's Aguero. It, it's Iguain! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. It's not taken him long, and that's going to be a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score, and obviously he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? Messi! That is simply breathtaking! And if that's a sign of things to come, he could make himself unplayable here. On some occasions, when star players really mean business, the entertainment value rockets, and we could be in for a treat after such a stunning opening. Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Argentina go ahead, one goal to the good. Di Maria and he scored in some shoots. Fantastic! That is classic Cunaguero, and they are disappearing out of sight. Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, he always had the measure of the keeper and there was very little doubt as to how this was going to end up. Argentina have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should... He's had a shot! 
could stop. That wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. Di Maria shoots! More and more and more and more! They are running riot! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. without reply this is becoming a stroll keeper's ball Messi tried to play it through yeah the idea was right the delivery wasn't they can revisit that further on Di Maria an absolute thunderbolt oh that is a gem unbelievable hot knife through butter they have done it again! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Argentina tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Gets on the end of it. And the whistle goes for half-time. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue. Well, every time they've gone through the gears, Peter, they've looked like scoring. So provided they can stay well clear of the handbrake, they ought to uh, be completely out of sight fairly soon. Argentina utterly dominant in the first 45 minutes, scoring at will. And the game has already resumed here. Batistuta. Machino. Passes it through. Di Maria. Shot at goal! And that's past the post. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Aguero. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Tries a through ball. Where to from here? Luis Suarez. Now the pass. Hits it! Messi. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulder as, as much as he'll want. That's gone a long way up and away. Looks like a good ball through. Battles to win it back. Goalkeeper's ball. Jimenez. And that will be the final act. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? have some very strong runners from midfield and it's not often you'll see a team be so effective by advancing through the middle like that but this was very impressive the way they cut through the heart of that defence so before we go many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both good afternoon
So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Argentina against Spain. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. reflection as players and supporters stand for the national anthems. anthem of Argentina rings out. Here's how the teams line up. Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? 
I feel I've got to mention David De Gea, one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Iker Casillas himself has tipped him to be his long-term successor. Uh, and that's heady praise indeed. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Matistuta. Gabi. Jose Gaia plays it forward. Chip through. Isco needed to come up with a better ball. Isco. Iguain! Gonzalo Iguain! He is sensational! Well, this is already looking rather ominous for the opposition. When a player of his calibre can open up the scoring with a brilliantly classy finish, it could be a very long match for that defence to prevent it happening again. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. expect this that's for sure what can they do now can't get the better of his opposite number he's got away can he score and he's straight offside mm, I thought he might just get the benefit of any doubt then Valero tries a through ball that intervention was very necessary. Higuain shoots! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. Oh, look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here, that looks a harder thing to do. Chances keep on coming. They're awarded another corner. Strong punch. Di Maria battles to win it back. Looks to three. And the header! Harmlessly behind. Big Wayne did so well to make use of the little space that was afforded to him. It wasn't easy, that. He just stood firm. Costa. With a delicate ball. Now the pass. Just. It's Iguain! Iguain with a beautifully timed run. Passes it. He's had a go! They've done it! Two up now, and they are cruising. Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Argentina take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either... And it's half-time here. Reflections on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Argentina ahead 2-0 and they are looking good. Just back from shoots. Plenty waiting in the middle. Header! Isco. Diego Costa. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Out to the flank. Hits one! Jose Gaia gets good distance on it. 
And he's there to cut it out. Has a hit! They are rampant! And they are cruising away! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. here from both sides in fact three without reply this is becoming a stroll Crespo this defense just doesn't trust it is it in he scores well that's not going to count and we go again yeah, the assistant did have his flag up. The referee seemed to spot it late, though. Nevertheless, the right decision. Disappointment and relief on either side. Nothing doing. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Forward it goes. He's played him through. I think that's a goal kick. Yes, the referee concurs. Argentina making another change here. So he's got himself a goal and now he gets himself out of Asian on the way off. I think he's put in a good shift and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Costa. Higuain is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, his stealth has been... Big chance! Oh, the keeper's done just about enough. Higuain really has shown an example of why indecision is fatal. Argentina making consecutive changes here. I just think... Up for a header! He has done it! And they are pulling still further away. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? Argentina tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. Crespo. Aimed low and direct. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Argentina were irresistible here. Dominant, utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. A comfortable win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, looking back on this, the early goal had a big influence on what unfolded and allowed them to dictate with comfort. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.
Señoras y señores, un gran aplauso para nosotros.